Bonjour tout le monde et c'est bien okay. Je suis Rebecca Resnick, la nouvelle responsable de la communication ici à l'ambassade des États-Unis. Et je vous souhaite la bienvenue à notre conférence de presse du General Ham, Madame Villarosa et l'ambassadeur Henry Ensher. Vous aurez 45 minutes, donc merci. from al Watan newspaper has got two questions. And the first one is, has uh, Libya become a real hotbed, or is it a pretext by the uh, governments in place uh, under the pretext of stability in order to change the governments in place in the region? That's the first question. And the second one is, um, in the framework of uh, countering terrorism, do you think that this is uh, possible to be made without the contribution of uh, Maghreb countries? Um, if it's okay, I'll, I'd like to uh, address the, the second question first. It was very clear to me yesterday as we uh, entered the, uh, the conference hosted by Algeria that, that addressing the threat of, uh, of terrorist and criminal activity is an international concern. And I think uh, Algeria's leading role in organizing this conference uh, demonstrates the understanding that this is an international problem. So at this conference that Algeria has organized, it's not only the countries of the Sahel, uh, but, uh, but many, many countries in the region and across the globe, as well as several international organizations. That convinces me that while there is a particular threat here in the sub-region, uh, the international community recognizes that terrorism and its related criminal activity uh, has to be addressed more comprehensively by all the nations of the world. Your, your question, your first question about Libya is perhaps a, a, a more a, a political question, but from a military and security standpoint, um, I think it is, uh, we're, we're seeing unfold in Libya uh, is an opportunity for people to express uh, their desire for self-determination. And while there certainly is an important uh, security and military role in Libya, it's just as important, perhaps even more important, uh, that the role of diplomacy and economic development uh, be addressed. Rani Aoukazi from Le Quotidien d'Oran. Um, His Excellency the Ambassador stated in his remarks that uh, there have been meetings with uh, several senior officials from the government of Algeria. During these meetings, has there been any specific request made by the Algerian government in terms of security cooperation? And the second question is, um, AFRICOM's headquarters is based in Stuttgart. How is that reflected uh, in terms of cooperation with African states? Is it only intelligence, military intervention, or a technical assistant, or what are the aspects of this cooperation? The, our headquarters is in Germany. Um, that, that actually was a, a practical decision. A few years ago, when the command was formed, it was formed out of an existing headquarter ba headquarters based in Germany. 
So it, it, was, it was a practical decision, actually, to just remain uh, in Germany. Uh, early on, there was some discussion of the possibility of uh, establishing a headquarters in Africa. But doing so would uh, require uh, great expense uh, and, and the United States, like Algeria, like many other countries, uh, is in a period where we have to be very careful about our expenses. So I, I think for the foreseeable future, our headquarters will remain in Germany, and it's a good location for us. Uh, it, it's less than two hours from Algiers, for example. Um, to your first question about the partnership between the United States military and Algeria, um, and, and partnership, I believe, is exactly the right word to use. What, what we seek to do uh, is establish opportunities for the U.S. military uh, and the armed forces of Algeria to increasingly cooperate, uh, to train together, to learn from each other so that both, both forces can become more capable. And, and while I am very pleased about the partnership activities so far, I believe there is much more that we could be doing in the future. Um, the gentleman is from the Spanish press agency, and he would like to come back to the Libyan crisis and saying that uh, recently there have been a lot of voices, uh, especially yesterday during the conference held by Algeria, saying that the Libyan crisis is yet an additional threat to the Sahel, particularly due to the proliferation of weapons in the area. What's your um, comment about that? I, would, I agree that there is uh, a threat of the proliferation of weapons from Libya. And uh, we are very concerned, all of the nations are very concerned about uh, uh, small weapons, rifles and, and, the, and uh, weapons similar to that, but also explosives uh, and uh, shoulder-fired air defense systems. Uh, the United States and, and uh, most other nations have been very clear that the control of weapons is the responsibility of the National Transitional Council in Libya. But, uh, but as I uh, became very aware yesterday, all of the nations of the subregion and indeed the international community uh, are seeking ways to help the National Transitional Council control those weapons. Uh, the United States Department of State has had two teams travel throughout the region, to include here in Algeria, to meet with uh, uh, government officials to seek opportunities to control these weapons. As with all matters of regional security, it will require the best efforts not only the of the countries is from of Liberty the region, Daily but of the and has two questions. Well the first one concerns problem. AFRICOM's image. Uh, there have been several be critics um, about AFRICOM's role, and these critics have come both from uh, Washington as well as from African uh, states. So that's the first question. And the second one is, um, there are more and more symptoms showing us that uh, Libya is heading to become yet another Afghanistan, Afghanistan, because all ingredients are there to show us this. The horizontal, uh, horizontal government, the tribal system, the increase in Islamism. So do you think that we are uh, heading to be another, for Libya to be yet another Afghanistan? Uh, I, I am concerned about the, the image of United States Africa Command across the continent and more broadly in the international community. Uh, when the command was begun uh, about three and a half years ago, there was concern uh, in Washington and other places that we would overly militarize United States foreign policy in Africa. Uh, the ambassador and, and uh, Ms. Villarosa uh, may, will certainly have a better view of this, but, uh, but it, in my opinion, we've proven those, those uh, critics uh, false. We try to be a good partner with uh, African states, and we operate uh, under two guiding principles. Uh, the first is simply that a safe, stable, and secure Africa is in the best interest not only of the United States, 
uh, but of the international community. The second principle is perhaps even more important. And that second principle is that it is Africans who are best able to address African security challenges. Uh, where United States partnership is welcome and desired, then we seek to do just that. Uh, we do not seek uh, bases in, in, in Africa other than uh, one operating base in Djibouti. Uh, large bases are, are not uh, part of our plan. They are not supportive of what we hope to do uh, with our African partners. Uh, there is one part of your question I, I wish was really true. I, I wish we had a large budget. Actually, our budget is, uh, is quite small. Yeah, to your second question about the, the, the future of Libya, the, the most important point is that the future of Libya is up to the Libyan people. Uh, it's, it's easy now, about six months later, to forget how this all began. This began by Mr. Gaddafi threatening to hunt down people in Benghazi like rats. This is language Africans have heard before. And so the international community operating under the UN Security Council Resolution 1973 took a bold decision to act. We'll never know for sure how many lives were saved by that action, but I'm convinced that many thousands were. So the challenge now is how does the international community help Libya become the kind of uh, nation that the Libyans want? This will require economic, diplomatic, and security support from across the globe. Uh, but, but I have perhaps am uh, an eternal optimist, but, uh, but, but I, I believe that uh, Libya is headed for better days. Many challenges, to be sure, uh, but the opportunity for Libyan people to make their own determination is what's most important. Did you, uh, perhaps uh, Ms. Galoros had a couple of comments about um, our overall government approach toward uh, fighting terrorism and, and cooperation with other countries. Uh, yes, the, um, we have long recognized that uh, military power alone is not going to eliminate the threat of terrorism. And what we uh, have to do is have a whole of government approach. And we in the State Department work very closely with the Defense Department, with AFRICOM, but also with other, with some of our law enforcement agencies, the Department of Justice, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, with our development agency, USAID. The um, Secretary Clinton calls this uh, diplomacy, development, and defense. Uh, we have uh, almost constant uh, interagency discussions in Washington and overseas so that we are pursuing a genu genuinely comprehensive whole of government approach and working with uh, the relevant partners in other nations. 